I think we have a little bit of time, about five minutes. If uh, Mario, yeah. I think the transition, the digital transition is not yet achieved. Uh, the market is growing. I don't know about Italy, uh, but most of the market are growing. And I'd like to, uh, to, to, to finish your speech with a, a, a touch of, of positivism. We do have a problem for the moment at American playlist. We, Mark was talking about cultural diversity and, and the difficulty of getting into playlist. The majors are, are having the same problem, actually, especially the, 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 the local majors. The problem, the problem is not that someone in Spotify or someone from the majors have made a deal with Apple and that the American music is prioritized versus the rest. It's just a mechanical problem. It's a mechanical problem of one market of 300 million people cre creating algorithms that multiply the popularity of a song when it works on a playlist in America and then algorithm, because that song works in America, put it in other playlists in other countries. What we see also on Spotify when you're not, when you're not on an American playlist is a growing, growing size of the local repertoire. So you see two dimensions, international hit, American dominated, local repertoire growing. The problems of American playlists is not, a, I, I don't believe it's a problem of majors, it's really a problem of algorithm and we're gonna solve it. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to Spotify, we're gonna talk to Apple again and again and again and one day they'll understand that if they want to, to have something that in Italy speak Italian to the Italians, they have to, play, to have playlists that actually speak to the Italian taste and not decided in Miami or Los Angeles. That's one. It's the same happened with classical music. When um, we, we have an important, we, we, we have a very important publisher of classical music. Three years ago, our revenue were 100,000 a year. We moved to 500,000 a year, to a million, to two million, and we're doubling every year for the moment. We still have a big problem because the distribution is based on a click. So 30 seconds of an opera is one click. Um, again, it's mechanical. One day is going to be changed. And, and the growing factor will be multiplied multiply by three. So I do believe in a market which is growing. I believe in a market which is full of energy. I, 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 I sense that the new, new music is actually better than it was 10 years ago. And I believe when we'll have sorted a few technological problems, that the cultural diversity will be better of that for the moment and before. Thank you very much, Michelle. Thank you. Uh, before I give the floor to anybody who has any question, I have a genuine question <laughs> for you. <laughs> you know, um, what do you think of um, the mechanics of how you know, the ratio applied to payments for digital music at the moment? Um, is that in our favor? Is that you know, totally unknown? You know, how, you know, for instance, Spotify, how does Spotify pay for you know, the plays you know, not one by one, not, you know, it's, what's it's, the criteria and uh, is there any, any way that we can intervene on those criteria so that they become fairer and more transparent? It's, first of all, it's very, very, very transparent. Um, if, you, um, if you have the, the technical capacity, you can receive every day, every transaction made by Spotify. So if someone stream the songs of your repertoire at 3.30 on the north of Finland, you're going to know that, if, that someone streams 30 seconds of your, one of your repertoire last night at 3 o'clock in the morning. Line by line by line by line. Then a big data, I mean, personally in my company, we, I mean, I do not really believe in it because I don't know what to do. Yes. I know that someone listened to one of the songs we produced last night at 3 o'clock in the morning, but what do I do with it? It's just a, I went to a, a meeting with IBM and they say, yeah, but with Facebook and we we'll know that she's smoking, she, why? Smoking <laughs> Marlboro. So we're going to say that someone actually smoking Marlboro loves that track. So, uh -huh. <laughs> Talk to my marketing guys. Not, my, not okay. meaningful. So yeah. back to your question on distribution. It's very, very transparent. Um, the negotiation with Spotify, which is just finished from Merlin, has been very long, but not 
uh, aggressive. I mean, we talked to professional uh, people which were there to maximize the revenue, uh, which is fair. Um, but the, 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 it's <laughs> what we're getting is based on the current distribution system what we should receive. Now, I don't, I don't think the value per stream, which is something like a 0.27 uh, uh, per stream, which is an average, if it's not real, will change if we were changing the, the distribution system. What some people say is that if we were changing the distribution system, some music will get more money, some artists will get more money than others. The global sum will remain the same, no doubt. The, you can imagine that instead of go doing on a country by country basis, we go on a region by region basis, so that the, the, the Basque are paid for the Basque revenue rather than an average of the Spanish revenue. We can say, why would you limit the, con the, the region on a country by country basis, and the Walloon region should maybe be a French region? Uh, and Flanders will be Hollanders. I mean, you can, you can have user-centric model. Pfft, it's no real study for the moment that proves that one way or another is actually beneficial for, for, for some, some artists or some record companies. Thank you very much. Mario, Presidente. Grazie, riprendo pronto. Ecco, mi sentite? Michel, noi ci conosciamo dal 1980. Noi facciamo i midem insieme. Io ho assistito con grande piacere alla, uh, alla grande idea della, delle quote delle radio francesi. E ero al tuo fianco, al vostro fianco già dall'epoca. I problemi che tu hai descritto, IFPI, che limitava le azioni degli indipendenti, li abbiamo vissuti anche noi in Italia, però ahimè fa parte del passato, c'erano altri presidenti di multinazionali, oggi abbiamo dei, dei giovani presidenti bravi, molto aperti, che capiscono meglio la nostra lingua. Prima di passare al secondo punto, volevo chiedere alla platea se ci sono degli interventi, se qualcuno vuole fare delle domande ai presenti. Niente, possiamo proseguire? Ecco, allora rilascio la parola a te che sei padrona di casa. Buon proseguimento. Grazie mille. I thank you very much for your contribution. Mario, uh, thank you. I, I thought you spoke Italian. Yes, I, I lost the year. <laughs> Mario, thank you for you know, being with us today. And also, he said he knows you since the 1980s, and he's been at your side on all the major battles that you know, the independent music um, fought over the years, particularly one with the radio stations in France. So that's what Mario said. Thank you. Riprendo Thank you very parola. much. Volevo salutare Caterina Caselli, che è appena arrivata. Grazie Caterina. Voi tutti la conoscete. Prima grande artista e poi grande imprenditrice. Grazie, grazie a tutti. Allora, proseguiamo? Yes. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. <laughs> 